ओके सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट आर द फीचर्स ऑफ कैन वाई कैन इज सो फेमस वाई इज सो वाइडली यूज इन ऑटोमोटिव इंडस्ट्री दीज आर द सम ऑफ द एक्सलेंट फीचर्स दैट कैन कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल हैज कैन इज अ मल्टी मास्टर अनलाइक अदर कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल देर विल बी वन मास्टर इट्स गोइंग टू कंट्रोल द बस बट इज एंड इन केस ऑफ कैन कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल देर इज नो मास्टर स्लेव कंसेप्ट एवरीबडी इज मास्टर so that is the reason it is termed as a multi master anybody can send the data at any point of time if the bus is free okay it is called as a message based communication can uses a wired and logic what i mean by wired and logic is if any node sends one on the bus and if any other node sends zero on the bus so it takes a wired and of both uh, logics okay so finally on the bus it will be zero so can use a csma bar cd so carrier sends multiple axis collision detection can use a non destructive type of arbitration it's a excellent feature that can is can has got so i will i will discuss more about this non destructive arbitration in the uh, coming slides can uses a nrz format to transmit the data so what i mean by nrz is a non return to zero format to avoid long nrz messages can is supplemented with the bit stuffing concept okay so if more than six consecutive dominant or recessive bits are to be sent then the sixth bit will be complement of it that is what is bit stuffing in can so this is one of the best feature that can communication protocol has got fault confinement i i am going to discuss more about this fault confinement in the coming slides can basically uses just two wires they are can high and can low prioritization of messages every message has got an identifier that identifier signifies the content as well as the priority lower the identifier higher is the priority higher the identifier lower is the priority can operates at the max power rate of 1 mbps can uses a differential voltage can network needs a can transceivers basically to control the voltage levels from ttl to can bus voltage levels can is an event triggered communication protocol so some if communication has to happen or to start then you need some kind of an event to happen there are various versions of can protocol uh, version 2.0a and 2.0b 2.0 any version below 2.0a supports only standard frame format any version above 2.0a supports both standard as well as extended frame format definitely can is an iso osi compliant it's just a plug in plug out kind of communication protocol mm -hmm. any network any node can be just plugged into the network and plugged out from the network you no need to change any hardware so what are the logic levels in can 